What is up everybody? Thank you for checking out Journey Suit. My name is Andrew Lin and today I want to teach you guys some lessons that I learned the hard way so you don't have to. I'm also going to show you guys a tool. It's a Chrome extension that is going to help you make better decisions while making purchases. So I'm actually right outside of San Francisco. I've been working with a company called Genius Pipe. Um, they've been nice enough to set me up with a room in this house. They got a nice backyard. I'm actually just hanging out, drinking a glass of wine. I mean, why not, right? Um, so for you guys that don't know, Genius Pipe, it's a weed smoking device. Actually, I got one right here. You guys can see that's what it is. It's really cool. They got like this slides open. We can load a bowl. This splits apart so you can like clean it super easy. I'm doing this backwards, guys, but you can see there's like dimples in there. Helps filter it, keep it cleaner, smoother hit, things like that. So yeah, it's been really kind of fun. It's kind of a cool scene. We were going to like weed trade shows and they have these huge elaborate crazy parties. I wish I would have videotaped it. You know, like free alcohol, free weed. There's guys running ar around with uh, leaf blowers <laughs> just packed full of weed. So sorry for those of you guys out there that don't smoke weed or don't like that. I'm in California, so it's legal. Just part of the thing out here. Um, but so let's go ahead and jump into um, this Chrome extension. But remember, guys, after this, I'm going to teach you guys um, some of the things that have happened to me. It's like three or four things happened to me all of a sudden. And in the last three years, I've almost lost like no money. I've, yes, I've lost some money, but not much, you know, nothing that's significant or put me in a loss. So now I've just had multiple things happen all and they all happen in like one week, of course. So I'll go over this. Maybe I'll make a part two. Let's see how fast I get through this. So this video might be in two parts. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the new AMZ. What is it called? It's called AMZ Scout Stock Stats. I'd actually just started using this. I've known about it for a little bit. And I know other people have been using it for a while. Um, I love the fact that it's free. That's why I switched over. I'd been paying $10 a month um, for this, which is whatever, not bad. I use it all the time. I didn't mind paying the $10 because I love it. But here, let's jump out of this. So guys, so when we come to our page, right, we're going to buy a product, let's say, so it's 1988. Let's say we get this thing for eight bucks or whatever, and we're like, okay, we're gonna make four dollars profit, and it sells, let's say, a hundred a month. So we're like, okay, how many people are we going to share that buy box with, right? So you can see here right now, it's actually Amazon and uh, Beauty for Life. So let's say Amazon shared the buy box, we'd be splitting it with uh, two people because they are the lowest prime that are selling it in a new condition, not a like new condition, right? And uh, so right now, let's say let's say this wasn't Amazon, we were, and they or they were sharing it, so we'd be splitting it with three people. So we'd begin like 33, maybe 34 sales a month, right? So now let's say we're splitting it with three people. Well, what if one of them, both of them only have one in stock? Well, by the time you get your stuff in there, you're gonna be getting it all yourself, right? So it's a good it's a good way to be like to know how much is in stock, so you can figure out how many units you're gonna buy. So guys, all we're going to do is go into return to product information. And uh, with this one, you're actually going to be in this top screen. All we're going to do is click this. It's going to bring this up. It's going to tell us our seller names here, who it is. So we have Amazon. So Amazon has three and they are prime. Uh, Amazon also, but this was uh, not a new one. So this actually doesn't matter. It'd be cool if they put that it was... Uh, not a new I wonder if you can show guys I just downloaded this so this is the first time like third time I'm actually looking at this but okay here's another thing I bet you guys see how this is Amazon says three in stock a common thing that Amazon does is they put um, a limit per customer so it'll only show that three people can buy I'm not really sure why they do that because like, there's so many times I think like somebody would only buy one of a product and they'll buy five or like 30 sometimes you're like what are they buying this for like a school whole like classroom like I don't even know but it happens, so it's kind of crazy. They might be hurting themselves with sales because then if they want to buy 50, they're probably going to go to the next person. But um, anyway, so I bet, uh, let's go check that out, actually. Okay, guys, and then uh, if we go into here into this add a cart, and then you can go to quantity. Um, let's go to 999, because it said they only had three, right? See, so, yeah, this seller has a limit of three per customer. Um, so yeah, so they could very much have an unlimited amount. So just something to definitely, uh, cause you might be like, oh, they only have three and then they're going to go out of stock and then I'm going to capitalize on all the 
um, the rest of them, but in reality, they are not going to go out of stock at all, and you are going to be competing against them the whole time. Because there's times I think Amazon's going to go if they're consistent. You look at Keepa and they just keep going out of stock. I might buy a product. Another thing I might do is you see how uh, Amazon, let's jump back into this. You see if Amazon will have like a tax or sometimes if you, um, even if they don't share the buy box and you undercut them by a dollar or 50 cents even, there's apps or I don't know if they're apps, they're like Chrome extensions that, uh, oh, I think this is a palette. But anyways, they're Chrome extensions that, uh, gosh darn it. Guys, I'm gonna finish this up with part two. One sec. This is Andrew speaking.